So I want to start off by saying you're playing November 20th here yes. at the Barnes on this stage with uh, Ari Hest. That's right. So you got to be pretty excited about the, uh, I mean, lo living locally and own owning Jam and Java, it's got to be pretty cool with fans everywhere you look, playing oh. the Barnes and hometown show. You, you're pretty excited for the gig? It's huge, yeah. yeah. And I love this room, and um, I think a show at Wolf Trap, especially for the local people, becomes, you know, an event, you know, more than just another um, local concert. Absolutely. I think people are getting really excited about it. So am I. So. Get a little burnt. Get a little burnt out playing on the Jam and Java stage too. It's well, nice to I mean, spread it around. We only. I do that a couple times a year. You know, a few times a year. Um, but yeah, it's definitely nice to be in the hometown uh, on a nice, you know, world class stage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm jealous. Just sitting up here, <laughs> looking out into the audience, like man, it's making me want to be a pro yeah. musician. <laughs> so. Uh, what do you know about Ari Hest? I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, um, having to I mean, we've been following him for a while. Um, he started, you know, in the D.C. area, he started out playing at Jam and Job, and that's how he first got turned on to him. And, um, you know, we're big fans. Yeah. Pretty cool sharing the bill with him. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. I've actually heard people refer to him. I think your brother, Daniel, actually referred to him as the next John Mayer. Uh, yeah, he, kind of has, he definitely has that vibe, yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, do you know much about his entrepreneurial project at 52? Yeah, I mean, he's doing a song a week or yeah. something like that. Yeah, um, I'm curious to talk to him and see how that's going. Every once in a while, I'll get an, I'll get an email um, about it or something, but it seems like a great idea. And so you guys are pretty similar in terms of, you know, being independent musicians, mm -hmm. um, kind of, you know, scoping for record label deal here and yeah. there when you can. Um, as kind of a you know, a, a local indie musician who owns his own venue and plays, mm -hmm. you know, regionally. Do you have any advice for, like, aspiring up-and-coming musicians who are trying to make it? Because you've obviously done a pretty good job for yourself, you and yeah. Daniel, building the, <laughs> building the brand and building the business. Right. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have too much advice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean... They'll do it on their own. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, um, you know, it's hard now because... You have to, you know, not only do you have to be so on and um, on top of your game creatively, but you also um, have to have your head in the sort of the business side and the marketing side of right. things, um, which, you know, those two sort of talents or aptitudes don't always go together. Sure. Um, at least, not, you know, not in the same person, but... Um, I don't know, that's just something I've, you know, kind of been coming to terms with. No, it's tough, too, because the landscape, the media landscape keeps changing, yeah. everything's web-based, so it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's much different now than it was 10 years ago, as you know. Oh, yeah. So, um, wanted to talk about your lyrical content mm -hmm. a little bit. I was listening to your Five Songs EP, which, yeah. is, which is pretty phenomenal, mm -hmm. and Wrecking Ball is a song that I um, could identify with personally oh, cool. on, on a few levels, and I read on your MySpace page, um, and I quote that... Um, a lot of your lyrical content reflects dealing with the challenges of love in a mm -hmm. modern and complex world. Yeah. And um, so you're a guy who married his high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you own your own venue. You have a few kids. They just adopted a child. Yeah. Want to understand? Mm -hmm. um, what are there any specific challenges that that really influence your lyrical content and influence your song? Like when you sit down, do you have the same thoughts that kind of recur from song to song, or what are kind of the yeah, they the do. I there. mean, you know, and sometimes, yeah, I mean, certain themes seem to sort of creep in, you know, and sometimes you have to kind of fight that because you don't want to keep repeating yourself, right. you know, you don't want to be one of those guys who kind of writes the same song over and over again, yeah. you know. Um, but there is definitely, on a lot of levels, that's a theme um, in what I do, uh, both in my music and personally. I mean, you know, having gotten married and really really, really young, um, <laughs> uh, you know, sort of the challenge of sort of keeping that sort of, that kind of thing going um, over time and sort of just, you know, in the face of a, a world and culture that doesn't always seem like it cares or that it values the things that, that you value. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, I don't just mean marriage or whatever, but I mean, whatever it is, you know, sometimes you just feel uh, out of place or out of step. Um, 
So that definitely is, is recurring. And, and, you know, I think about how to, I think about that and, and, and what that means. And if these are the things that you value, I mean, like, how does that, you know, how should that reflect in your life and, and in the way you treat people and the way you, you know, run your career or whatever it sure. is. Um, or your business. Um, yeah, so I mean, those are definitely recurring things. I remember laying in the bed, feeling you slipping away. You told me that night, tell me that day, don't have to be that way. And now, baby, you think in that yard, it's too late to undo what's been done. You've seen worse these walls. Built up, we could tell now just the same. Wrecking ball, only love's gonna tear down these walls. Wrecking ball, only love's gonna tear down these walls. Wrecking ball, we were born in the sun. Thank you.